Hello everybody, this is Dragonheart and welcome to a first look video at a new game which is coming out called Victory at Sea. It is a naval RTS game and it will be released on the 8th of August 2014 as you can see on the screen in 2 months, 2 days and 22 hours. So, this game is made by Evil Twin Artworks. Now if I click on the Evil Twin Artworks icon here, they are the developer and the publisher and this is the only title they have so they it seems to me they are, they are a brand new publisher and developer this looks like it's going to be their first game or first published game and let's have a little read about the game so it's a, you can engage in epic real-time strategy warfare across the Atlantic, Pacific and Mediterranean this is naval warfare on a global scale it is World War II and the age of the dreadnoughts has passed and naval warfare is being dominated by aircraft carriers Submarines hunt convoys like wolves and the numerous and nimble destroyers rule the oceans. I think you guys kind of get the gist of it there. I won't bore you too much with that, but it's there on the screen for you guys to see if you wish to read any, any further. Uh, you can plan your own strategy. Once you're in the campaign, what you do is up to you. You can harass enemy ships to starve their ports of vital supplies. You can destroy the enemy patrols and weaken their defences. Defend your friendly convoys and keep your supply lines open. Lead an assault force with landing craft to capture enemy ports. Go on covert operations and complete special missions. There are over 80 classes of ships and hundreds of ports. There are a multitude of playing options. You can build your own fleet around the terrifying firepower of the battleships. You can sneak around with a submarine wolf pack. That sounds interesting, guys. Or you can look to dominate the skies with carriers. Um, so I think you guys get the gist of it there. Uh, other combat modes they include in this game are Victory at Sea offers the chance to experience some of World War II's most famous battles including the Battle of Midway and the Battle of River Plate. The historical battle mode sets all the victory conditions for you, you just pick a side to fight on. You can create your own custom battles from small skirmishes to epic conflicts, choosing from Axis or Allied fleets with ships from six playable nations to choose from. So it all sounds pretty good guys, let me know what you think below. To be honest with you, I don't really play naval RTS. Most of you are probably aware that I'm more of a total war guy. That's my kind of uh, genre with the RTS. Although I am willing to branch out and try other things. I think this might be a game which I will perhaps try when it comes out on the 8th of August. Before we finish this video though, I want to have a quick look at the PC requirements down here. So, PC requirements minimum, operating system, Windows XP, uh, a Core 2 Duo. 2.4 gigahertz processor, 2 gig of RAM, and a GeForce 9500 GT with 4 gig of available hard drive space. The recommended, however, is Windows 7, Intel i5, which is what I have, at 3.0 gigahertz or equivalent, memory of 4 gig RAM, an NVIDIA GTX 470, and a hard drive of 4 gig. So, to be honest, guys, it's pretty low. Uh, what they're asking for, which I think is probably a good thing. Most computers would probably be able to run this. Max system requirements, minimum Mountain Lion Core 2 Duo 2.4 GHz, 2 GB of RAM, NVIDIA GeForce 320M, and a hard drive of 4 GB available space. And then recommended again is Mavericks, Intel i5, 4 GB RAM, and an NVIDIA GeForce GT 750M, plus 4 GB of hard drive. And then for the Linux, it's more or less the same, uh, Ubuntu 12.04, Core 2 Duo 2.4 GHz, 2 GB of RAM, GeForce 9500 GT, 4 GB of RAM, and sorry, 4 GB of hard drive, and then recommended is a Ubuntu 12.04 again, Intel i5 again, 4 GB of RAM again, NVIDIA GTX 470, and 4 GB of hard drive. So there we have it guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope this made you think about whether you want to see a game like this, whether you would buy a game like this, let me know in the comments below what you think, whether you think this is going to be an interesting game and I will leave you all with a few screenshots from this. So I've been Dragonheart, hope you've all enjoyed, until next time, goodbye.